Hi, uh, in today's video I'd like to try and give you some concrete information about what is the best type of truffling dog. The question of which breed is the best truffle dog overlooks one very important point. That is that the dog and the hunter have to work together and they have to be well suited. So the question isn't really what's the best truffle dog, but what's the best truffle dog for you? Which means you have to take a good cold hard look at your own strengths and weaknesses, as well as those of the different breeds of dogs. Strengths, fearless, Climbing, speed, boomerang, smoldering intensity. about no dogs. Well, you know, steps, it ain't that complicated. You know, you pet them, you feed them, you know. <laughs> Nature takes its course, you know, so. Usually when people think about truffle dogs, they think about Legato Romagnolo, and it is an excellent breed. Um, it's been bred especially to hunt for truffles, which means it's easy to train, and it's incredibly cute as well. Legatos are one of the many breeds that like to stay close to the hunter when they're out in the field. They won't run off, but they don't explore large areas. They'll kind of go at your pace, which is great if you're a novice or if you're a bit out of shape. One of the problems with the Legato is that they may be a bit hypersensitive. They tend to be fairly skittish. Um, also, I think their coat can be a problem as well. It tends to get very tangled. Reg's uh, pointer is now about three years old, so these pointers are more difficult to train than, let's say, than a Legato. They have a lot more energy, they do a lot more running around, they have a completely different style when they're hunting for truffles. They like to explore and they tend to run off. Now these are obviously classic hunting dogs. Some of the dogs will actually bring truffles back to you in their mouths. They take longer to train. These are obviously stronger dogs than the Legato. Um, and they can dig a lot longer. They've got these like good strong paws and what will happen is they will run off and then you know they will either come back and tell you where they found a truffle or they'll sit and wait for you. You have to be really energetic to keep up with a dog like this. Um, they're not for novices and they're not for people who are out of shape. So this is why we've said you've got to think about your own strengths and weaknesses and see whether you're a good match for this type of dog. So it's a difficult dog but at the end if you're going to hunt professionally, you need a larger dog like this. So here are the strengths and the weaknesses of the various kinds of pointer. Very high energy dogs, as you'll see. Springer Spaniel, another great truffle dog. It's lively, not as adventurous as the Pointers, but not as cautious as the Legato or the Labrador. Smart dog, quick learner.
if you're going to get a truffle dog, you could do a lot worse than getting a Labrador. These affectionate dogs, they don't like being by themselves. They will hunt at your side. They also mature quickly and they're fast learners. So they're pretty much a breeze to train. As you can see, they're slow, methodical hunters. So they're perfect if you're just starting out. Jane here is a mixed breed dog and she's a very successful uh, hunter but she behaves more like a spaniel in that she's a mid-range dog. She will explore but she also tends to stay like close by. She's not as strong as some of the larger dogs as the pointers but they're on hand to help her if uh, she needs if she gets tired of digging okay so that's all for today's video i hope it was helpful in some way thanks for watching and see you again very soon bye